Now that we have the gas pedal installed, we can now install the throttle cable. Now the throttle cable is pretty much a long piece of wire that connects to your gas pedal all the way back to the carburetor. Now the point of this wire is what this does in the carburetor is it controls a little door and that door determines how much fuel is allowed into the engine. So what happens is the harder you press this gas pedal, the more the door is going to be open in the carburetor and the more fuel is going to be allowed into your engine, the faster your engine is going to run. So let me go ahead and show you guys what happens when I press down on this gas pedal. So go ahead and look at this little nub right here. You see how I moved down? That's pretty much the basis for it. I'll show you guys one more time. As I press down, this wire is going to move. And of course right now it's just moving in my hand. But once it's attached to the carburetor throttle, it's going to open that valve more, allow more fuel to the engine. So I'm going to show you guys how to install this right now. Now the first thing we have to concentrate on is routing the cable to the carburetor. So of course it starts here. This is the gas pedal right here. And I routed this cable, it's that black cable right there, all the way along the side of the frame. See if you guys can keep an eye on that the whole time. And there's actually these clamps on the side of the frame that you can use for your uh, brake lines. I also use them for my throttle cable. Two for one. Kill two birds with one stone. So my throttle cable goes right along there and it ends up right here. So as you can see, when you get to the end of your throttle cable, cable, it has a little, I don't know, kind of gold copper looking bracket on it. Now this bracket, my camera doesn't want to focus today. This bracket has two holes in it, and these holes are for the screws that attach it to the carburetor. So these two holes right here, let me try to get a good angle without banging on my camera, are going to attach right here, one right here, and one right here, and that's gonna secure it to the carburetor, which is this thing right here. Now this little nub on the end of it is gonna be tied to your throttle on the carburetor, which is right here. So this is pretty much the door I was talking about. The more this uh, throttle opens or twists, the more gas is gonna be delivered to your engine. Inside here, there's a little door that you can't see. And the more you twist this, the more that door is opening. So now let me go ahead and show you guys how to mount it on the carburetor and also how to attach the throttle cable to the throttle valve on the carburetor. So like I said, now what you wanna do is take the bracket from your throttle cable and use those two screws that came from the carburetor to mount it on. See if I can do this. So now it's nice and secure on the carburetor, but it doesn't do anything yet. If this cable was to pull because you stepped on the gas pedal, it would just pull and it wouldn't do anything. What you need to do is you need to hook it up to the throttle valve on your carburetor. Now, like I said before, right now this just looks like a boring thing that spins, but inside your carburetor, all of the fuel and air mixture, all the combustible stuff is in here. Now in order to get to your engine, it has to pass through a door. Now the door is actually this spring loaded thing right here. The more it twists, the more that door is gonna open. Therefore, the more fuel is gonna get to your engine. So how do you put this on? It's really easy. Go ahead and stick this little nub in first, right on the top and then go ahead and wrap it around just like that. Now, whenever you step on the gas, this cable is gonna tighten and pull, and it's gonna spin just like that, letting fuel mixture into the engine. So let me go ahead and step on the gas pedal right now and we'll see if it works. Now here I am stepping on the gas pedal, and hey, it looks like we did a pretty good job. Now again, if you want to adjust the tension on the wire, again, if it's too loose where it isn't even turning at all, or if it's too tight where it's like right here by default and you can only get that much play in it, what you can do is you can adjust it at the gas pedal or right here. And obviously this is pretty easy to adjust. I don't need to talk to you guys through how to adjust that. Now the only other thing I want to talk to you guys about is this thing right here. There's a screw right here. And as you can see, let me try to take my sandal off. Whenever you release your foot from the gas pedal. Right now, I have no pressure on the gas pedal. This is what your engine is gonna run idle. Pretty much as soon as you start your engine without even pressing the gas at all, this is where your engine is gonna go. It's gonna release a little bit of fuel into the engine. Now, 
If your engine seems to putter out sometimes when you start it or it's really hard to get it started, what you want to do is you want to adjust the throttle speed right here, which is pretty much the default speed of your engine, the default amount of fuel that's getting into your engine and burning. And if whenever you start your engine it's like ree, ree, and like sounds like you're about to floor it, well then you want to take a little bit of throttle off. So this screw right here is your throttle speed, so that's how you adjust that. So with that being said, congratulations, we now successfully installed our throttle cable. I don't know what's next, but uh, I'm pretty excited.